hi my dear friends welcome again to another tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you the right way to fix computer ram problems ram is one of the vital components in the computer system it is the computer's main memory and serves as a temporary storage for the operating system and other application programs so that they can quickly interact with their central processing unit the RAM is much faster to read and write information than the other storage devices such as the hard drive or solid state drive. RAMs are also measured in sizes as megabytes or gigabytes. Please note that any RAM defect can lead to communication problems between the central processing unit and motherboard components. This is the reason why RAM problems usually have two major symptoms. 1. The computer screen remains blank even after the computer is turned on. 2. The computer may start for some time and quickly attempts to shut down with a blue screen of death. So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a step-by-step -step approach to fix RAM problems. You may need an eraser and an ordinary piece of white paper to clean the contact terminals of the RAM. Please focus on cleaning the contact terminals only. After, please use the paper to clean any hidden residue left behind by the eraser. Test the RAM in a computer to see if it works. If not, please follow my next guide. Here, you may need an alcohol-based cleaning solution or thinner. Please ensure that the alcohol content is not less than 50%. Here, pour a little of the alcohol or thinner in a container, then use a toothbrush to fetch it and clean it accordingly as demonstrated in a video. After, please wait for it to dry for at least 10 minutes, then test in a computer to see if it works. If not, please follow the next guide. Here, you may need a multimeter and a scale to test electronic components. I will be making a full video on how to test electronic components and the use of other equipments to fix problems in electronic and electrical appliances. 
Here, please note that RAMs are made of circuit board, the memory chips, resistors, and capacitors. Please check the value of all resistors and ensure that capacitors are not short to the ground. If you identify the faulty component, please make a replacement and give it another try. If that also doesn't work, move on to the last method. Here you may need a soldering paste. You can use any of your choice. You may also need a surface mount device rework station. This may help to reflow the communication contacts of the memory chip to the circuit board. Also, please ensure you use a reasonable amount of soda paste on the whole circuit board. This will facilitate the reflowing process. Adjust the heater and the air gauge to meet a temperature no more than 350 degrees Celsius. Reflow for about 2 minutes. Reflow each of the chips as demonstrated in the video. After, wait for it to cool down and clean it with a thinner or any alcohol cleaning solution after you are done. I hope this video finds you well. Please like, share and subscribe for more captivating videos. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again in another video.